everyone. I'm Sister Vasla, and I'm glad you've joined me for this brief coffee break. As most of you know, I was recently in the United States in several cities in the Midwest, and I spent quite some time in airplanes. So today, I'd like to reflect with you on the profound bit of wisdom one hears at the beginning of every flight. I mean the instruction that should the oxygen masks be needed and we are traveling with a child, we should put our own mask on first and then help the child put on the mask. It recently struck me how helpful these instructions can be to parents struggling to inspire their children to lead lives of faith. Because throughout my trip to the US, I had parents come up to me, mostly moms, after my talks, and tell me with this look of utter despair in their eyes how their teenager, brought up in a church-going family, has now lost all interest in faith, refuses to go to church, and so on. I think many parents can relate to this situation. And what I'd like to suggest, getting back to oxygen masks, if you're following this less than perfect analogy, is that we remember first to get our source of spiritual oxygen, so to say, that is, to take care of our own daily connection with God in at least a bit of daily prayer, contemplation, and self-examination, so that the grace of the Holy Spirit can enter the picture and guide us in all our activities and relationships. Because in Him, and with Him, we become capable of helping others, including our children, in a grace-filled way. Well, that's all I've got for you for today, ladies and gentlemen, and I do hope to